begin the quest, head to the area located here on the map. Speak to Brendeth the Chiefsman. Chat options on screen. You'll now have to prove yourself to be Fremnik material. You'll have to go through a series of tests. You can do these tests in any order you'd wish or just follow along with what I do. For the first test, in the long haul, speak to an NPC called Manny the Raveler. Choose the first chat option. Now on the table, you're gonna find three beers. Go ahead and take the regular yellow one and the beer keg. Ignore the one with the frothy top. In this clip, I didn't take the keg, so don't make the same mistake I did. Next, head to Sears Village and speak to the poison salesman in the pub. Choose the second, then the first chat option. You'll now have low alcohol keg. Head back to Relica, but run there, as you will have to encounter an NPC on the way there. As you enter Relica, you're gonna bump into an NPC called the Council Workman. Use your regular beer on him, and he will give you a strange object. It's a firecracker. Now head back to the long hall, and to the east side of the building, you're gonna find a pipe outside. Light your strange object, then use it on the pipe. Enter the long haul and mix your low alcohol keg with your regular keg. Then speak to Manny once again and choose the first chat option. Next, let's speak to Olaf the Bard. He is just outside of the long hall. Choose the first chat option. Next, head to the swing tree located here on the map. Go ahead and cut a branch from the tree and craft it into an unstrung lyre. Head southeast and type to Lali, the troll. You will be presented with three chat options. Make sure to go through the three of them. Return to Relica, and just outside of the long haul, you'll find a short NPC called Askeldan. You will receive clearly the best pet in game, the Pet Rock. Speak to Lolly once again. You'll now have to create a rock soup. Slowly start using your ingredients on the pot.
then speak to him once again. Once you have the wool, head back to Relica. And on the west side, you will find a spinning wheel. Spin the golden wool. Then of course, use it on the unstrung lyre. Next, head directly southwest outside of the area. And upon the water, you will find this very strange uh, sort of altar. Go ahead and use your raw shark on the altar. Your liar will now be blessed. Head back to the town hall. On the northeast side of the town hall, outside, head through the door and play your liar on stage. Next, head to the area located here on the map. Speak to Peer the Seer and choose the first chat option when prompted. This will bank all the items in your inventory. Click on the door to your left and you'll have to solve a puzzle. Go ahead and read it. Here are the answers on screen. Use whatever answer you think corresponds with that riddle. Once in, climb up the ladder. Now before we move ahead, go ahead and search all sorts of objects and the statues on the wall to find a certain amount of items. Here are the items you'll need on screen. Now having to do this all over again can get kind of annoying, so I suggest taking this part slowly. Now upstairs, you might have noticed there is a chest that you cannot open. You could only open this chest if you have 4 units of water on top. Your jug could only hold 3 and the bucket could only hold 5. Now instead of directing you one by one, uh, step by step, things can get a little confusing. So I'm going to go ahead and just simply put the steps here on screen, so I suggest pausing, then following the exact instructions. Cook the red herring on the stove to receive some sticky red goop. Use that red goop on the disc to get a red disc. Then go down to the other side of the trapdoor and use the two discs on the obstruct mural to get a vase lid. Head back upstairs, use the vase on the faucet, go ahead and use that lid on the vase, and use that sealed vase on the frozen table. If you accidentally use it and it's not sealed, then go ahead and just use the vase on the stove to warm it up. We'll receive a key frozen in a block of ice. Once you've gotten the three tasks over with, Head down the trap door and exit through the door. Before we start, we'll go ahead and re-bank and re-gear as we'll have to slay a monster. Now right by the Relica entrance, you will find a NPC called Sigli. Go ahead and speak to him, choose the first chat option for both prompts.
Your task now is to hunt a monster called the Dorgan using the Hunt Talisman. Clicking on the Talisman will point you to the direction of the monster. Keep looking for a very small grey butterfly. That is where the Dorgan is found. Once you are right beside the butterfly, collect the talisman and slay the monster. Then speak to the huntsman once again. Next, just south of the market, speak to Swissen the Navigator instead of small building. Choose the first chat option. Next, head down the ladder. Now you're going to have to choose the right path a few times. Instead of telling you where to go, go ahead and pause this video and follow the instructions on screen now. If you get lost, then you could use a rope in the middle of the room to reset. Once complete, speak to Swisson once again. For this next section, go ahead and bank any weapon or armor you might have. Come back with two rings of recoil, some food and some basic melee potions. Now for this fight, you're not allowed to use any weapons, this includes runes, so for this reason, I think it's a good idea to switch to legacy mode, that way you could get more power per punch. Once you're ready, speak to the warrior inside the helmet shop, choose the first chat option, Then climb down the ladder. Enter the battlefield and just punch away. Now the fight has four stages. You only need to win three out of the four. You could win or lose the last one. Uh, the outcome is the exact same. If you defeat him, then climb up the ladder. If not, you'll wake up on the second floor of the same building, just head downstairs. Regardless, speak to the warrior once again. Now for probably the longest part of this quest, we will need to gain the vote of Sigmund the Merchant. Speak to Sigmund inside the marketplace, choose the first chat option. Head north and speak to the sailor about some exotic flowers. Choose the first chat option. Just east of the long haul, go ahead and speak to Olaf the Bard. Choose the first chat option. and speak to Yersa, she is the owner of the clothes shop. Choose the first chat option. Long haul and speak to Brandith the Chiefsman. Choose the first chat option. Mm -hmm. 
Next, just south, seek to sigil the Huntsman. Choose the first shot option. Head north into the Helmet Shop and speak to Skullgrim. Choose the first chat option. Speak to the fisherman just west. Choose the first chat option. Next, speak to Swiss and the Navigator, just south of the market. Choose the first chat option. Next, head back to the helmet shop and speak to the warrior that you defeated in the previous subquest. Choose the first chat option. Head inside the main long hall and speak to Manny the Raveler. Choose the first chat option. Speak to the bartender Thora, choose the first chat option. Next head south and speak to the small boy Askledon, choose the first chat option for both prompts. With that out of the way, go ahead and do this entire subsection backwards now. Speak to the bartender, choose the first chat option. Give the drink to Manny right beside you, choose the first chat option. Head north inside the helmet shop and give the token to the warrior. Choose the first chat option. Give the warrior contract to Pier the Seer, a little southwest of the market. Choose the first chat option. Give the weather forecast to Swissen next door. Choose the first chat option. Then give the fishing map to the fisherman north of the market. Give the unusual fish to Skullgrim inside the helmet shop. Choose the first chat option. Give the custom bowstring to the huntsman south of the long haul. Choose the first chat option. Give the tracking map to Brunteth the Chiefsman. Choose the first chat option. And give the statement to Irsa, the owner of the clothes shop. Choose the first chat option. Give the sturdy boots to Olaf the Bard, just outside of the long haul. Choose the first chat option. Give the friendly ballad to the sailor on the dock. Choose the first chat option. And lastly, give the flowers to segment the merchant in the middle of the market.
Now assuming you've completed the subsections, go ahead and speak to Breneth the Chiefsman where you started the quest and quest complete.